Hello dear friends, welcome back to my channel. We are going to start the next topic that's the circulation. In that we will see the first phenomena that is the blood vascular system. Before that we see the which point we covered in this topic. The first one we studied about the blood vascular system form element. The second point we see that is the structure and the pumping action of heart. Next one is the blood vessels, heartbeats and the pulse. Next one we see the rhythmicity of the heartbeat, blood related disorder, ECG, pacemaker and the lymphatic system. So, in this video we consider the first point we see, we studied the first point it is the blood related, blood vascular system. So, first of all we see what is mean by the circulation. Circulation means the process of transport of the various substances like oxygen, nutrients, hormones and the metabolic waste through the circulatory system it called as the circulation. Circulatory system in the human being. The human circulatory system it is composed of blood vascular system it is the one and the second one is the lymphatic system. This the blood vascular system and the lymphatic system are interconnected and that interconnected part is known as the circulatory system. So, the blood vascular system, it is associated as the cardiovascular system. This says as in this we consider the first one that is a system in which the blood is circulated throughout the body. If the blood is circulated throughout the body, then it is says as the blood vascular system. The heart together with blood vessels help in the transport of blood around the body to supply nutrients, oxygen to the tissues and the removal of the waste product. It is known as the blood vascular system. The blood vascular system, it is basically consists of blood, heart and the blood vessels and helps in the transport. Homeostasis means maintain the internal environment constant and the protection. So, here are the two types of the blood vascular system. The first one, it says as the open type of circulatory system and the second one, it's a closed type of circulatory system. So, what's that open type of circulatory system? This the blood does not confine to the blood vessels. Means there is an absence of blood vessels. It's a observed in case of leech, crab, spider, snail, lobster and the bivalve heart mania. Close type of circulatory system means the blood it is confined to the blood vessels. Blood it is present inside the blood vessels. It's a observed in case of the higher animal. That says as the closed type of circulatory system. So, we see in details about these two type of the blood vascular system. The first one, it is the open type of circulatory system that is says as the open circulation. In animal, having an open circulation, the blood is circulated throughout the body cavity. Means what? There is an absence of the blood vessels. As there is a presence of the body cavity, so it is called as the hemocole. Means in the cavity, there is a presence of the blood. The visceral organs which is lie, it is present, which is embedded in the blood filled body cavity. Exchange of material takes place directly between the blood and the cells or the tissues of the body. The blood which is flow with the low pressure and usually do not contain any respiratory pigments. Means there is an absence of hemoglobin. So, the color of the blood is white. So, it does not transport the respiratory gases. For example, arthropodas. It includes the cockroach and the mollusca. Second type of circulatory system that is known as a closed circulation. So, what is this closed type of circulatory system? That is the blood, it is confined with the blood vessels. 
in all the vertebrates, higher molluscas, annelids, blood, it is circulated all over the body through a network and that network it called as the blood vessels. In this type of circulation, the blood flow within the blood vessels and does not come in direct contact with cell or the body tissues. Exchange of material between the blood and the body tissues, it's throughout an intermediate fluid that is called as the lymph. The blood flow with a high pressure, may, but in case of the open type of circulatory system, the blood flow with the low pressure. Here's the closed type of circulatory system. It contains the respiratory pigment, means what there is a presence of the hemoglobin, means the color of the blood is red color and which is used for the transportation of the respiratory gases that is the oxygen carbon dioxide. The closed circulatory system, it's a two type of the system. There is a two type. First one is a single circulation and the second one is the double circulation. So what's the first of all we see? The first of all we see the single circulation. So what is the single circulation? You can see this image very well. So let's see what is the image. In a single circulation, the blood it is passed through the heart. Blood which is passed through the heart only once, only once that is from this arteria blood enters it into the into the capillaries, capillaries again the systematic capillaries and again it is uh, through the vein it is enters it in the heart means the blood which is passed through the heart only once in each cycle in it's uh, observed in case of the fish. The deoxygenated blood, it is pumped from the heart towards gills where it undergoes the oxygenation. This oxygenated blood, it's a move towards the various body parts and get converted it into deoxygenated and return back to the heart for the next cycle. Since the heart of the fish, it is carries only the deoxygenated blood. It is called as the venous heart. This is a very significant phenomena in case of the single circulation. The second one we see the double circulation. It's a very interesting fact. So, what happened in the double circulation? In double circulation, the blood flow through heart. Why is this what is very important? During each of cycle, it occurs in birds as well as it occurs in the mammals. In this animals, the heart pumps deoxygenated blood to lungs for oxygenation and it uh, returns to the heart for as a oxygenated blood. That is called as a pulmonary circulation. Means this deoxygenated blood which is come from the right ventricle. From the right ventricle, the deoxygenated blood, it is passed towards the lungs via pulmonary artery. The lungs, it is purify the blood and this purified blood means the oxygenated blood, it is again come back to the left atrium. From the left atrium, the blood, it is transfers towards the body part. It is transfers towards the body part. That is, this deoxygenated blood, it is transfers towards the lungs for the purification for the oxygenation that is called as the pulmonary circulation. And the systematic circulation means what? That is the oxygenated blood. So, this the left ventricle, it contains the oxygenated blood. The left ventricle, as it contains the oxygenated blood, it is transfers towards the all body parts via systematic arota via systematic arota so or it says as the arotic arch so it is says as the systematic circulation means in the heart the double circulation is there so we can see um, again one of the images here first one is 
the right ventricles it transfers the deoxygenated blood towards the lung for the purification through the pulmonary aorta then this lungs it is converted it into the oxygenated blood this oxygenated blood it is transfers to the left atrium via pulmonary vents when the deoxygenated blood it is transfers towards the lung via pulmonary aorta it says as the pulmonary circulation means the flow of a blood from right ventricles from right ventricles to the left atrium via pulmonary aorta it says as the pulmonary circulation the second one it's a systematic circulation what's a systematic circulation the flow of a blood from left ventricle this left ventricle it contains oxygenated blood it contains oxygenated blood that is this oxygenated blood it is transfers from left ventricles towards the body via systematic aorta and from the body this body use the oxygenated blood convert it into the deoxygenated blood and it is written it into the right atrium means the flow of a blood from right ventricles to the right atrium via systematic aorta it says as the systematic circulation so we can see in detail the left ventricle it transfers the oxygenated blood towards the body part body use this oxygenated blood and convert it into the deoxygenated blood this deoxygenated blood it is collected or it is transferred it into the right atrium means a flow of a blood from left ventricle to the right atrium it says as the systematic circulation so in case of human being in case of the higher mammals the circulation which is present that circulation it says as the double circulation okay do you understand up to this okay very good uh hope so you understood it thanks for watching my video stay tuned to my channel thank you